Hi, I'm Anto Williams. Welcome to this edition of Military Makeover Operation Career. Today, inspirational stories of former servicemen and women who have reinvented themselves and are thriving at companies who value their unique skills. Founded in 1885, the Lansing Board of Water and Light has provided reliable utility services and been a community partner for decades. With a high veteran employee population, they are the utility of today that's transforming tomorrow. I'm Joanne Turner. I'm a Air Force veteran, and I'm a software administrator here at the Board of Water and Light. My name's Tom Bale. I was in the Navy from 1992 to 1996. Here at the Blancing Board of Water and Light, I am the manager of TND. I manage the overhead power lines, the underground power lines, uh, traffic signals, street lights, stake and locate, and the tree trimming. The Lansing Board of Water and Light is a public utility, one of 40 in the state of Michigan. Uh, we are the largest public utility and we serve our customers electricity, water, killed water and steam for the greater Lansing, Michigan area. We are moving towards a carbon neutrality program of carbon neutral by 2040, very aggressive goal. We are ahead of schedule on that and what it's done is allow us to transition from our coal plants, which are all retired now, to cleaner sources of energy as solar, wind, and we are also uh, getting ready to start construction on one of the largest battery storage uh, facilities in the state, uh, so that when the wind isn't blowing or the sun's behind a cloud, which happens a lot here in Lansing, we can still supply reliable energy to our customers. My experience here at the BWL has been amazing. So there's a lot of growth, I feel, and a lot of challenges, which is something that I appreciate as well. You know, I feel, and they saw my military background and appreciated the fact that I did that. I believe the Board of Water and Light really takes care of their veterans. They have this amazing program every year for Veterans Day. They honor the veterans um, in the community. Traits and skills that I learned in the military, I would say dealing with people, in the military, you come across people from all over the country. The military also forced me to grow up a bit. You know, even my mom will say when I came home from boot camp, I was a different person than when I went to boot camp. It teaches you responsibility. I learned a lot of responsibility. I was in charge of a motor whaleboat, keeping that clean every day and making sure the motor's running. I had a couple people that worked for me. I was a crane operator. You know, so that responsibility was big for me. And it also taught me to strive to do more I always wanted to do more than what I was currently doing. The Board of Light is always looking for good talent. And when you put on your resume that you were trained and worked for the leading company in the world, the U.S. military, you moved to the head of the line in our application process. They are uh, a diverse organization, so it helps our d &I efforts. The military knows how teamwork should work. That's what we encourage here. Work ethic is just unbelievable when we bring our vets in here. I'm very proud to support any of the veteran initiatives that are out there. I can definitely continue my service to the community with a job like this. I mean, we serve power to the city of Lansing. I mean, it's a 24-7, doesn't matter what day of the year, power goes out, we're working, we're serving the community to get that power back on. So my advice to veterans that are transitioning out of the military into the civilian world is to get out of that box. Sometimes in the military, they can just put you down a path, a specific path, and because it's so familiar to you, you decide to stay on that path. My advice for them is to think broader than that. You know, look at the skills that you've learned through the military. If there's something else that you'd wanna do, just for me, I was a pharmacy technician, now I'm a software administrator. <laughs> Completely two different worlds, but I, decided to broaden my horizons on that and see what else I could do outside of it. You never know what your full potential is unless you change out. Higher education is crucial for personal and professional growth. Active duty service members and veterans, including those at institutions like Springfield College, understand and are energetically pursuing knowledge while advancing their opportunities. My name is Louis Rodriguez. My name is Shatirka Abdul Razak. I'm Mary Beth Cooper, the president of Springfield College. 
While serving in the military is both tough and rewarding, the quest for higher education after serving your country can be just as daunting for some in our veteran community. This is an interesting time in higher education for a lot of reasons. People are wondering about the value of getting a four-year degree. Is it worth it? So we are in the business of making sure people understand that the value of getting a degree is quite worth it. And so our job as an institution is to ensure they have a place to grow and develop. feel like they care. You know, knowing me a place that that has the same goals, same objectives that, you know as myself. Springfield College is a place for veterans because we and the people help in business. And I can imagine as a military service member you had a purpose to help people, to serve your country. And here you have the chance to do it again. While you're doing it again, you have the comfort of knowing that 98% of bachelor's degree recipients are employed or are in graduate school within six months of graduating, one of the highest postgraduate placement rates in the nation. In leadership to service to others is what makes us remarkable and what makes us stand out amongst the competition. Once I actually visited the campus, the staff, how welcoming everyone's there to help you. So I absolutely loved it from the first visit here. I chose this field because I wanted to help people and you know, get them to understand themselves and how to better navigate life. Luis felt this calling while still in the Marine Corps. During the Marine Corps, I found that a lot of my peers, they had difficulty you know, managing their emotions and just like their overall thoughts. And I felt like I could you know, be a part of that and help them, guide them through those emotions and how to properly cope with them. I chose the field because I wanted to be a part of the change. Um, I see, I come from a place of poverty and there were many people who helped me and I just want to give back to the community. It's just the same as the, that's the military. Um, just working with a team of people to really just try to make a change, to just try to better um, our communities, our country. Helping veterans is at the heart of the Springfield College experience. A lot of our veterans came to us a number of years ago and said, there's not a place for us. And so we created a space on campus that is a home for them to come to, especially after serving. Leaving the service, the civilian transition was a lot of stress on me. And it was an easy transition for sure. The Veterans Center is a place where veterans could be veterans. Yeah, transitioning is very hard. It's definitely hard. I'm so used to being a uh, staff sergeant at the Warzock and trying to realize that I'm no longer wearing that hat. Just trying to adjust to the civilian life can be very challenging. So the Veteran Center is very hands-on. Um, they reach out to you and they give you every knowledge, you know, every bit of knowledge that they have, as well as like walk you through any challenges that you may be having. I would tell a veteran when he or she comes on campus is, how do you feel? And if you feel like this is home, come here. We're here, we're ready to help you make the transition, and we want to see you meet your, your own goals. That's the most powerful thing. Springfield College, keep moving. Green Bay Packaging is a full-service nationwide manufacturer of custom corrugated packaging, folding cartons, and coated label products. Veterans bring top-notch skills and qualities they acquired and refined throughout their military career. So together, success is delivered, guaranteed. Take a look. My name is Ramon Vasquez. I served in the United States Marine Corps for just about eight years and two years in the National Guard. My name is Sergeant Adam Vasileski. I'm currently serving with the Wisconsin Army National Guard. I have 15 years of service, as well as six years of employment here at Green Bay Packaging. My name is Amber Kwasney. I have been with Green Bay Packaging since August of this year. I was in the Army. I joined in 2007. I did four years active and four years inactive research. My name is Troy Piontek. I was in the Navy. Uh, I was in the Seabees 
uh, ACB-1, it's an amphibious construction battalion. I was an assault boat coxswain. Right now, I am a West Trucker at Green Bay Packaging. I've been here over six years. Green Bay Packaging is a, a great company. It's a family-owned business, started uh, 90 years ago by, by George Cress, and then he turned it over to his son, Jim, and then Jim turned it over to his son, Will Cress, who's my boss, Will's the president and CEO. We have a real uh, style about us where we empower employees. We don't micromanage. George Cress had a theory. Hire good people, give them a vision, and get out of their way and let them do their job. And it's worked. And his son, Jim, felt the same way, and then Will Kress, again, our current president and CEO, feels exactly the same way. Green Bay Packaging's primary business is corrugated shipping containers, so boxes, right? Uh, in addition to that, we also make pressure-sensitive label stocks, so labels that you would put on uh, uh, water bottles, as an example, and folding carton. Folding carton or cereal boxes, things like that. But our claim to fame, our niche, is service, quality, um, and support. We don't try to be the low price. We don't really believe in that. What we want to be is a great partner for our customer. And that works whether you're in our plant in El Paso, Texas, or our plant in Green Bay, Wisconsin, or our plant in Baltimore, Maryland. They all run under that same theme. And it seems to give us a, a way to penetrate the market, whether we're in a downturn economy or an upturn. While I was uh, finishing up my associate's degree, I met a friend who worked for Green Bay Packaging for about 15 years. I was looking for my forever home. She introduced me to Green Bay Packaging, and I've been here ever since. My position in the Navy, I had to think on my feet all the time, and I, I believe that helps me of what I do here as a West Trucker, because uh, situations do change real fast, and I just gotta be on my toes and be able to go to from plan A to plan B to plan C to get the job done. I had to serve two activations in 2020 due to riot response and COVID response for polling. And they never once batted an eye. They just said, give me your paperwork and do what you gotta do. So they're really supportive of my military career. It was very much an ease of transition. They said, when can you be back? And it was never rushing me back. It was, when are you ready to come back? They're really accommodating for everything that I have to do. Green Bay Packaging has been spectacular, especially knowing all the veterans here. They gave us a beautiful box for Veterans Day with a beautiful jacket and a gift card in it. They always reach out to make sure, not even just the veterans, but everybody's doing well. They make sure that the morale's high on the floor. I love working here. There's hotlines that you can even call if you need to talk to somebody. I've never heard of that before having a company having that for the employees, which is amazing. So Green Bay Packaging has your back. Well, one of Green Bay Packaging's biggest challenge is finding labor. In fact, it's, it's a big challenge for the entire country, right, and the world. So if I had to pick the perfect type of employee for Green Bay Packaging, it would be a veteran. So why is that? Right? Um, disciplined, focused, loyal, um, smart, and they just have that, that edge about them that makes a difference. If you're a veteran and you're looking for your forever home, your forever work home, Green Bay Packaging is a great place for you. For over 20 years, Fortinet has been a driving force in the evolution of cybersecurity. Their network security solutions are some of the most deployed, patented, and validated in the industry. With a pledge to train one million people in cybersecurity by 2026, they're looking for veterans and their spouses to train and hire. I always wanted to be in the military. I, I was in military school as a, a young boy. Uh, it was in my blood. My grandfather worked on the ships that would carry the supplies to Europe in World War II. My stepdad was a Marine. My first duty station was selected to be an avionics instructor internationally at the Inter-American Air Forces Academy in Lackland Air Force Base, Texas. Uh, we were helping countries in the South with their internal defense programs on all sorts of subjects, and, and mine was in the area of electronics. 
I went into the Air Force uh, right out of high school. I started as a uh, security policeman. I got the opportunity to go to uh, Germany. Uh, when I showed up, the, there was a wall. When I came home, there was no wall. I got back to the U.S., got stationed at Whiteman Air Force Base. Uh, I was guarding uh, the weapon storage area and nuclear weapons. Found that less exciting than what I anticipated going in and uh, cross-trained in a computer switching system specialist. That transition while in the service is actually uh, how I ended up in this career field. I had nothing going on after high school, had no plans or any visions, and my cousin asked me to join the military with him, and I talked to the recruiter, took some tests, and left about two months later for the Marine Corps. I was an administrative admin clerk for four years, did two SPAC deployments on ship, and was getting ready to get out of the Marine Corps when I was offered to switch jobs. I chose a computer systems engineer, and I spent the next 16 years doing cybersecurity and computers. Military veterans are by nature problem solvers who understand the importance of maintaining a strong defense, especially when dealing with active threats. That's why Fortinet has made it their mission to help veterans transition from military service into the field of cybersecurity. Cybersecurity, in, in just a few words, is this. Think about how many devices you personally own that are connected to the internet. If you add all that up for just your family alone, you're going to have a big number. Well, that expands the attack surface of everybody. Same thing happens at companies, happens at governments. Our job in cybersecurity is to protect those networks, protect those operations, and making sure that those companies and governments are resilient so when they're attacked, they can recover their services quickly. Our customers have different types of sense of data depending on the vertical you're in. We're in our EBC center where we have you know, operational technologies where you can worry about critical infrastructure uh, like power and financial institutions, you know, the healthcare center, patient data. And there's adversaries who can uh, look to monetize that, the access to that data. For me, being a military member, transitioning was not easy, and I know it hasn't been easy for others. That's what makes this program, the Fortinet Veterans Program, unique. Uh, we work with other partner organizations to upskill veterans in terms of preparing their resume and mentoring, but we as Fortinet train them in cybersecurity. If we can't find them a job with us, we will find a job for them and help place them with one of our partners. So when I put my retirement paperwork in for the Marine Corps, uh, I learned very quickly that none of my resumes or job offers I had coming out were from anything I submitted online. It was from networking. Fortinet has a very, very broad outreach program, Fortinet Veterans Community Program, that reaches out to uh, veterans and their spouses to help them transition into the civilian workforce. They help them with soft skills, they help them with technical skills, and they really give them the opportunity to network and branch out. You know, don't limit yourself. The job title that you might have in the service, you know, those skills apply much, much more broadly than you might think they do. There are organizations uh, that are really interested in see seeing the success with other veterans. So I think believe hiring veterans into your organization, uh, like Fortinet does, they understand the value that we bring because, for one, our leadership, that's a given, and I think we all, we all have some of that built into us just from our, our time in service. Having the discipline and having the and honesty and integrity, we're gonna be there. We're gonna show up and we're gonna get it done. Great to see that after sacrificing so much in the military service, today's veterans have found careers where they've been able to shine. I'm Montel Williams. Thanks so much for joining us on this episode of Military Makeover Operation Career. See you next time.